Hi guys, welcome back to Gardening with Creations by DX and Co. I uh, hope you guys are having an awesome summer. It has been one wild uh, summer here. Super dry and then super wet and so it's just kind of hard to get some of these projects done. Uh, but I am out in the greenhouse today. Let me show you what I got going on. Stay tuned, let's get started. guys were able to watch that last video you notice I took the front off of my original greenhouse I had that in ground raised bed situation going on so I decided inside of the back of the greenhouse now remember I am going to put the other greenhouse there it is right in front of this one so I'm gonna have one long a 16 by essentially six foot greenhouse I want it shelves in the front half and I want the uh, back half to be more of a still the in-ground bed but i decided you know what i didn't really have the space in the greenhouse that i wanted so i decided that i would do these as an elevated bed so you guys remember the elevated bed video over there don't mind the mess uh, but you guys remember the elevated bed uh, I'm building it essentially the same way with a few tweaks. Um, I won't get into details on that. If you guys want to see the few tweaks on that, let me know. Maybe I'll shoot a video on that later. But I wanted to kind of give you the idea. I actually took that original in-ground raised bed. That's these boards right here. I left them exactly as they were. So I have the exact same spacing in between here. Um, I want to say, well, let's just find out. It is... a 25 and a half 25 and three quarter inch walkway so plenty of room to move around in here access the beds right um, and then the soil I am only going as deep as this which is exactly what I had in the in-ground bed and I grew tomatoes in there cucumbers in there but that's not what I'm doing in this back half I'm actually planning for lettuces and um like herbs so not real deep rooted plants no taproot type style plants so that is what i'm doing in there and then you notice i have the tarp down uh kind of just to kill the grass that was underneath here um if you guys haven't checked out the harbor freight video i'll try to link it in the description at the end or in the description below and at the end if you guys want to check out the actual harbor freight build uh, but so i have the tarp down here and I was in the middle of building out my raised or elevated raised bed. Now I'm going to throw some dirt in the, from the other greenhouse and you reuse that soil, kind of a, mix it up, amend it a little bit, put some wood chips in there, um, and I'm going to put it back in, these, in this bed. So I started getting it all built out. As you can see, I'm almost done with this side. I was about to go do this side, and I was like, you know what? I just really don't know what to do with this floor. I don't really want to walk on this floor. So um, then just have it. I know I'm going to have mostly storage underneath. That's my plan uh, for my extra pots and things like that. But I really was like, you know what? These are the patio bricks that I gotten for free. Uh, just driving down the road and sign for free bricks. And I was like, why not, right? So I love to repurpose things, give them new homes. But if you guys are looking at something like this, these particular bricks, I think, are like a dollar a piece at your local, uh, like Home Depot, Lowe's, um, big box stores, if you will. And a lot of times you can find them on sale for two for a dollar. So if you're looking at doing something like this, but that's how I got these, a huge stack of these for free that were in my garden. And I started tearing them out actually to dig up strawberry plants that had rooted in between them. So I just want to give you guys kind of an update on what I'm doing. Um, and, you know, I was going to do this whole thing and then kind of show you guys after. And I thought, you know, I'd be remiss if I didn't record it and kind of at least show you guys. So you can see I took some just play sand. And let me show you the bag here. This is just premium play sand, $3.33 a bag, right? So far, I have used one bag. Now, I'm not using the play sand as a base, right? I'm using it just to kind of help me level that. And you can see they're a little, they're not perfect. Um, but I, I don't care that they're perfect. I just kind of care that they're level. The hard part is, guys, 
I didn't think of this until after I had already built this thing. So luckily I thought of it before putting the soil in. And so I've been having to actually pick these things up to get the, the posts on top of them. Kind of a real bummer, but you know, it is what it is. Making the progress now, we're almost done uh, with these legs. These legs are not finished by the way. I will add the additional support in just like I showed you in the other elevated red bed. So please don't think that I'm just using this single leg as a support for all that dirt weight. Uh, that is not the case. So I'll show you the finished product later, but uh, just kind of want to give you an update on what I'm doing and uh, kind of show you guys. And I'll, I'll try to get this finished out. I'll show you once I get all the bricks laid. I doubt it'll be tonight. It's getting dark already. Uh, like I said, we've had a lot of storms. I haven't had a lot of time to get these projects done. Um, but yep, so I'll do that. I'll get all these bricks laid and then I'll finish out this side here. Um, believe it or not, I did not create these sides equal. This side over here, I believe is like 22 and a half inches. And this one over here, believe it or not, is uh, like 24 inches on the inside. It's 25 overall, I know that, because uh, that's the size of the boards I've been cutting. And um, this whole front of the greenhouse will be taken off. So you notice I have no panels in it, I have the door off, so to speak. But I'm going to be taking that whole front of the greenhouse off um, because I'll be attaching the other one. So I'll update you guys on how I do that, the design I go with. I have a feeling I'm just going to use this plate to kind of join the two or marry the two together. I'm not quite sure on that yet, so I'm going to figure it out. I'll show you what I do in case you guys are hoping to do something the same. All right, so just a quick update here. It took me a couple of evenings to get this done everything else going on but uh, you can see I've got all the bricks laid I used uh, two bags of sand had to open up the third one um, there which I'm gonna actually use on the floor to fill in all the gaps it'll keep everything tightly um, but I had to open up just to stop because I had some bowing right there in the center here it's still a little saggy there but not enough that I'm worried about it because again this is just the inside of the greenhouse but uh, just for measurement, this is the 6x8 Harbor Freight Greenhouse. I used the, there are 24 bricks laid front to back. And you can see they are laid long ways. Um, and then there are 9 bricks across. So 24 times 9, 216 bricks. Yes, I did the math ahead of time. Uh, so 216 bricks are in here is what took it in case you're wondering about doing these. Now the nice part about these bricks for the winter time, and the reason I, um, you know, wanted to go with these is, you know, this is sitting in the sun all day, and I feel this, and that is actually letting off heat. So, uh, may not be the greatest for like the summertime because that is giving off heat, but in the winter time, you know, bricks do give off heat. So, it you stone on the lower half of your greenhouse is actually a great idea to, you know, retain heat and give back heat. Uh, for the cooler months so something to think about and that's the reason I did that so now we're on that uh, we've got this done and we just need to get this side done and we'll be able to start gardening in our greenhouse so let me get this side finished up okay long road but it's official haven't put the sand on the floor yet uh, but I got the elevator raised bed all filled in so now it's just to I'm gonna put some wood chips down as a base kind of uh, well, let me rephrase that. I'm going to put some wood chips and then I may do a layer of cardboard. Um, so usually I put the cardboard first, but I want to keep it off the wood to keep it from rotting even longer. So I'm going to put the wood chips down and then maybe some cardboard and some soil. But since I'm not really worried about the weed barrier, I may not do cardboard in here. Um, so I'm going to get that going and that's that for this project just a quick video on some of the greenhouse updates some ideas maybe for you guys in your uh, greenhouses as you're building or planning next year and I know there's a lot of people still putting up greenhouses this season getting ready uh, for long term you know I've had my greenhouse actually since 2019 I thought it was longer even that's how long it feels but I've had it since 2019 I uh, use it every single season and uh, now I have a second one, so that I'm going to turn into one long one. But uh, So I saw another neat idea online today where you can actually just maybe build a box underneath it and kind of lift this 6x8 greenhouse, make it even taller. That was a really cool idea. Um, I'm not going to do that. I've already done all this work. But 
Either way, I appreciate you guys watching. Give this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you want to see some additional content. Uh, I'm going to get these beds filled in. And then if you want to see the actual me attaching the greenhouse, how I do it, uh, to put one in front of the other, um, yeah, I'll show you guys that. So uh, hit that notification bell so you don't miss it. I hope you guys are staying safe and enjoying your gardens. Thanks for watching.